Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Wreaths. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Today I'm going to show you how I make this Hello Spring Tulip Wreath. These are the supplies I'm going to use to make this wreath. I got this at Craft Outlet. These, I don't really remember where I got them. I think it was Walmart and they were clearanced. I'm going to take the bottom off of this one. Uh, it wouldn't come up as easy as that one, so I might have to heat it, but it's supposed to stand up. I just thought they were too cute. My 14-inch wire frame from Dollar Tree. This is 21-inch mesh. I've got these four ribbons. And I'm going to use some pipe cleaners. My hot glue is heated up, so I am going to cut the string off of my sign. You can save these if you want. You never know what you'll need them for. I found some things in my trash just from leftover wreath frames and some flowers. I cut these in half because I like to put these over the pipe cleaners. And I'm going to use a combination of E6000 and hot glue. And I use Gorilla Hot Glue. You especially want a really good hot glue when you're using it for a sign. Alright, I'd like to put a strip there and there. And now I'm just going to lay the pipe cleaners in the E6000. That way I know for sure that they're it's touching the pipe cleaner so when it dries it holds. This may take me a little bit so uh, because I have my hot glue gun is going to have to heat up in between but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do to each one that way you don't have to wait for my hot glue to heat up. So I've added the hot glue over it and I added a good amount and I'm going to take my piece of a tag lay it over it and kind of smush it out until it's coming out of the sides. The reason I like to do this is the hot glue will go on either side of the pipe cleaner and I don't feel like that's a good enough hold. This attaches to the pipe cleaner, the glue, and the sign so it, it has a much better hold. It's kind of like a band-aid. So I'm going to go through and do the rest of these. Okay, I set those to the side to let them dry. It only takes a little while for the hot glue to dry but you definitely want to make sure it's dry before you start messing with it. As of right now my plan is to do a poof wreath. I'm going to use 18 ties instead of 14 so I end up with 10 on the outside, 8 on the inside. I go every 4 inches. The reason I'm doing that is because I want it to be full and I also want lots of ribbon. I may end up adding ruffles. I'm not 100% sure yet so I'm going to see what it looks like with just the the poof method um, and see if the person I'm making it for likes it that way. So I'm just going to start in the center at a crossbar. I'm twisting three times. I go over both sections. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure out to four inches. And my mat really comes in handy for that. So I go to the four inch mark and then I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to do this all the way down. So one, two, three, four. So that's with a nine. So I just kind of slide it where the line is. I'll try to remember to link this mat below. I went every four on the inside. And again, I think I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have eight ties. And you can see this last one, it's almost exactly four apart. So they all line up pretty well. So now I'm going to do the outside. I'm going to try to do them in between as best I can. But I still want to keep it at that four inch mark. So I'm just going to start at a crossbar that's has two on the outside. I am twisting up on this ring and that's going to help my mesh stay up and I'm twisting three times again. So I'll go over four inches and I'm going to twist three times on this ring and I like to just go ahead and open them as I'm going because I'm going to use the poof method. I'll show you one more time. So you go from 6 to 10, which is 4. And then for the outside, it's easier to just come in from that angle. So I'm just using the lines of my mat, and I go to the 10 mark and slide it under. So I'm going to go through and finish the outside. I have 18 ties. 
These don't line up on the outside as well as the inside, but as long as it's about the same space apart, it's not going to make a huge difference. So I do want to start at a crossbar when I add my mesh, and that's just because I like to add it where the mesh isn't going to slide along here. So I'm going to grab my mesh and some zip ties. I grab two zip ties and I open my mesh and I'm just going to gather. I like to start in the middle and that way I know it's even. And then I just gather that side and then gather this side. That way I know I've got an even amount. And then I just kind of pull it out to make sure it's, you know, I don't have more on this side than that. And then I'm just going to attach it right here to the crossbar. So I'm going to put my zip tie through. You'll probably want longer zip ties. This is just all I have left right now. Alright, slide it in. Use my wire cutters to just tighten it and then cut it away. And then I'm just going to push this to the back. I'm going to do 10 inch poofs with this. I feel like they're more compact and it makes it look fuller. If I do the 12, it comes up too much and it starts spreading out. The look I'm going for with this wreath, I want to do 10 inch boots. So again, I'm just going to use my mat and I'm just going to go from 16 to 6. Here's a tip to keep your mesh straight as you're pulling it out. Line up your pipe cleaner with the line in the mat or just keep it straight like this hold it down and then pull straight until you get to the six when you have it up like that and you pull it creates a weird poof <clears throat> so you want it as straight as possible so and then you can turn it and add i'm only going to twist one and a half times because i'm going to add ribbon and i do that extra half twist just to keep it from unraveling and I do like to poof as I go. You don't have to, you could just do it at the end. So here I'll show you again. I'm at the 16 mark. I need to open that pipe cleaner. I've got it straight. So I'm just gonna pull straight out. Oops, too far. I'm used to doing 12. My hand automatically goes to that. Okay, so six to 16, that's 10. Now I can turn it a little bit, poof it up and add this in. I was finding while I was doing this style of wreath that my mesh was getting really tight in the center and when I started pulling it straight instead of sideways, it was making a huge difference. So pull it straight. I'm going to go around and finish doing the outside and then I'll come back and show you how I move into the inside. I forgot to point out when I started that when I started at the crossbar, I did not use the pipe cleaner that was there. I'll leave that there so when my last one comes into it, it creates a perfect circle. So here I'm just going to do the last one. And I'm just going to put it over the zip tie and then use the pipe cleaner. It does make the pipe cleaner slightly shorter than the others, but it's usually not enough to keep you from, you know, making your wreath the way you planned. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Okay, so for the inside, I'm just going to go through and open my pipe cleaners it just makes it a little bit easier and I also push the pipe cleaners on the outside out of the way as I'm going and again that's because I've had a history of grabbing the outside ones and I have to go back through and fix it it's a big headache okay so now that the outside's done I'm gonna pull to the center to the closest pipe cleaner to me you could either go that way or this way and since I'm making the them this way it'll be easier to do it like this the reason you pull it in instead of creating a poof here is because you'll end up with a an odd poof and then there's a hole here so it's just easier to pull it in you can uh, zip tie it in there if you want instead of the pipe cleaners i just don't want to waste the zip tie it's just so much easier to do it this way so i'm going to continue making my 10 inch poofs and i'm going to do it exactly the same way it is a little bit trickier to measure it accurately on the inside uh, only because you're reaching over the mesh so I want to just show you if I could get that to open. So here I'm going to measure from the 16 to the 6. But as you can see, it's the exact same length across 
as it is to the six. So this is 10 inches. If you go to the one directly across, when you pull out, it's the same thing. So you can pull and then measure it that way. And that way you're getting your 10 inch poofs. It's really not that big of a deal if they're a little bit off, but for the most part, you wanna keep them pretty uniform so they look nice and everything falls the same as far as ribbon and the sign. So I'm gonna go through and finish doing my poofs. I'm at my last poof and my poof is gonna go into the pipe cleaner that I used to pull the mesh in. So what you'll do is just open it. So after I make my poof, I'm just gonna open it, stick it in there, and then twist it. And again, this pipe cleaner is not gonna hold, be as long as the other pipe cleaners. But I've never had an issue out of it. I guess it'll just depend on how much you add to it. Trim this away, and you still have a little less than a half a roll. I'm gonna take my mesh and stick it through to the back, and then I'm just gonna attach it to the frame. With this particular zip tie, you want to push it back up to the front. The other one, it didn't matter because I did it on top. You just don't want anything sharp coming out of the back. This is what it looks like when it's done. This is a great base for a lot of different wreaths. I'm going to cut my ribbon. I've got four different. I have two one and a half inch and two two and a half inch. And I'm just using my 12 inch piece of cardboard. And I just like to wrap it around. I'm going to do it seven times. So that was one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I just slide my scissors in and cut it. And then you hold it. Don't like slide it off at all. I'm gonna reach in and cut that side. And then once I cut it all, I'm gonna go through and dovetail. So I'm just gonna take two or three pieces, fold it long ways, and I'm gonna cut from the wire to the crease at an angle. And I'm gonna do that on either end. So I'm, I'm cutting, um, I did seven, but I need nine, it's a habit. So I'm gonna cut nine of each ribbon and then I'm gonna dovetail it all. I finished cutting and dovetailing my ribbons. These are the colors I decided to use together. I tried to do the pink on this and I just felt like it, it disappeared. I really like it with this one. Which, they look good either way, so. Pretty. All right, to add my ribbon, I'm gonna line it up the best I can, fold it in half, crease it. Then I'm just gonna pinch it in the middle. And I usually do three. So you get this. I'm gonna go to my pipe cleaner and add my ribbon. And I'm gonna twist it three times. And then I like to take my glue stick and roll down my pipe cleaners. And now I'm just gonna fluff my ribbon. And you could definitely cut your tails longer, your ribbon longer than what I have. I have so much smushed together, I don't want too many overlapping ribbons. But it looks good either way. All right, I'm gonna do my second one. This ribbon on the bottom, this purple ribbon, is kind of flimsy but it matched really well with the, the sign and the purple in the floral ribbon. All right, I'm gonna fluff this one. And that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna run through and finish adding ribbon to the center. I finished the inside, now I'm going to do the outside. Just going to do the same way and add it into my pipe cleaner. 
Again, twisting three times and then rolling it down with the glue stick. And creating the X. The X on the outside usually ends up going straight across and then out. So I'm going to go around and finish adding all my ribbons. I finished adding my ribbons and now I'm going to add my signs and tulips. Just going to figure out exactly how I want to arrange it. So I'm thinking that here and then these kind of sticking out of the sign because I kind of want to hide the bottom where it's kind of messy. Hmm. Don't know if I like that or not. I've decided to just add the sign. I didn't like the fact that there were only two of these. If there were three, I think it would have looked nicer. So to add my sign, first I'm just going to kind of move the ribbon out of the way. Just a little bit, just so it's not all lost behind the sign. It doesn't all need to come out. And I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and feed them through the mesh. What I usually do is separate. So like you can see this hole right here. It's hard to see. Right here. And I'm going to put the pipe cleaner directly through there. Oops. I let it go. Get it back around the frame and it doesn't matter where you attach it you just don't want to pull too hard um, it'll sink the sign really far into the wreath let's see what that looks like yep that'll work all right and then we're going to find the wreath on this side so you just kind of pull it over and feed the pipe cleaner through to the back on this side Put it down and twist And now I'm just going to re-fluff my ribbons. You could spend a lot of time doing that. You just don't really want any holes or anything like that. See like right here. Just move it around. Sometimes you have to hang it up and step back. I'm lucky I have my camera here so I can see. That's it. That's how I've made my beautiful blue Hello Spring wreath. If y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or you can always email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching and if y'all enjoyed my video or learned anything today, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.